Now in this video we'll see uh, what are the different rules we need to follow in order to assign the IP addresses. Okay, we'll see some different four rules here, one, two, three, four. So if you just go back to the previous section, what we have discussed, we have seen the connectivity from router to LAN and the WAN. From router to switch, we use a straight cable and router to router, we are going to use some back-to-back -back cable. And I'm going to assume that all my routers are connected in the LAN and in the WAN. And I got sort of four different branch offices, branch office A, branch office B, and branch office C and branch office D. And my, requis my requirement here is to assign the IP addresses to each and every device in the network. So if you remember in, in your LAN, when you are using some computers, every device must be configured with some IP address in order to identify the devices. So similar way, we need to assign an IP address on the router also. But now the question is how many IP addresses we need to assign, that depends. Now here, uh, that depends on number of interfaces we have. So on the router one, I'm connecting two interfaces. So we need to assign the two IP addresses on, the, on this interface. On the router two, we have three interfaces. So we need to assign three IP addresses. And on the router three also, we have three IP addresses. We need to assign three IP addresses. Uh, and then on the router three, router four, this is router four, we need to assign four, two IP addresses. Now the number of IP addresses we need to assign on the router, it depends on the number of interfaces we are connecting on that particular router. And then these are the commands. We'll get back to the commands in our next video anyway. But whenever you're assigning the IP addresses, you need to ensure that you follow these rules when you're assigning the IP address. Let us start with the first rule. All the LAN and the WAN should be in the different networks. So this rule says that when you are assigning the IP address here, so we are going to assign some 192, 168, one dot network here. So when I'm assigning 192, 168, one dot network with a slash 24 subnet mask, I cannot repeat this same network anywhere here, here or here. Not even in the LAN, not even in the WAN. So if I try to assign, let's say if I try to assign 192, 168, one dot network here also, if I'm repeating the same network in two locations or two different LANs, in that case, the router 2 or router 3 will get confused whether they need to send it to one dot network, whether on this side or the other side. So that's the reason you are not supposed to repeat the same network in more than one location. So all the LAN and the WAN should be in different networks. Like I'm using 192.168.1.network, 192.168.2.network here, 192 network, and 192.168.4.network. network. Now, once we assign these networks, you cannot repeat or you cannot reassign this same networks anywhere in your branches. Now, this is completely my private network. So we are going to decide our own IP addressing. Okay. So that's the first rule you have to follow when we assign an IP address. All the LAN and the WAN must be in different networks. Okay. And the second thing is the router Ethernet IP and the LAN network must be on the same network. Now the router Ethernet means, just now we discussed that the router must be assigned one IP address on the WAN interface, one IP on the LAN interface. And whatever the IP we decided to assign here on the LAN interface, which is connecting to the switch, it must be on the same network what we are using in the LAN. Now these two must be on the same network. Same network means, now if you, if you just try to see here, now this router is also one device connecting in the LAN, right? Just like a PC. Now we need to assign one IP address to this interface from the same network what we are using in the LAN and ensure that this IP you are not going to repeat in the LAN. So it should be unique within the LAN. IP should be unique but these two must be, these all must be in the same network. Now similar way, if I, if I verify the same thing here, I need to assign any IP address uh, starting from 192.168.2.100. These two must be in the same network. Similar way here, 192.168.3.100, same network. And similar way here, 192.168.4. network. Uh, these two must be on the same network. So when you are assigning the IP addresses, you must, the router Ethernet IP and the LAN must be in the same network. So just ensure that they are on the same networks. Now the third rule is, we need to ensure that both the interfaces of the router facing each other must be on the same network. So which means now we are going to assign one IP address 
on this interface also right these two interfaces now these two interface IP must be on the same network again these two must be on the same network interfaces facing each other on the router must be on the same network now if they are on different networks again it will affect the communication so ensure that these two are on the same network and again I can use something called 192.165.1.5.2 6.1 6.2 and 7.1, 7.2. And I'm already using 1. Dot network, 2. Dot network, 3. Dot network, and 4. Dot network, 192, 168. And I need to use any other network which, I, which I'm not using in my network. So I'm going in order wise uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, 6 here, 7 here. Okay, so ensure that we are not repeating the same network again. And the final rule says that all the interfaces of the router should be in different networks. So once we configure with this three rules, automatically the fourth rule is going to satisfy. And it says that on the router, if I have three interfaces, all the three interfaces must be on different networks. They must be on the different networks. Like here I'm using 192.168.5.0 network, 192.168.6.0 network here, and 192.168.2.0 network here. So if I try to assign the same network to two different interfaces, you will get some message as I have network conflict things because you cannot use the same network probably you might be using 192.168.1.100 uh, here and 192.168.1.200 here even though you're using different IPs but they belong to the same network it will create a problem in this scenario so uh, one thing you need to keep in mind whenever you are assigning the IP addresses we need to ensure that we must follow these three rules the four rules we can say all the LAN and the WAN must be in different networks the first rule let me just quickly repeat this one uh, all the LAN and the WAN must be in different networks which means if I'm using 192 one dot network you cannot use the same network again so I'm using two dot here three dot four dot and you cannot repeat the same network and whatever the IP address we are going to assign on the router Ethernet interface this must be on the same network what we are using in the LAN and the interfaces facing each other must be in the same network here and finally all the interfaces of the router must be in different networks so if you want to have a proper routing uh, to work you need to ensure that you follow these rules